point I made that as soon as the Zyra is locked in, it denies the ability to try to ban away both. In which case, the opponent would end up giving you one. Yeah, so we are just about ready to jump into this one. Here comes Beyond. Up into the top lane, if we could see a stun land on the Huni, he gets the slow. There's the undertow. And he's going to have enough for one more. And that's going to be first blood going on over to Olaf. Yeah. One of the things that's interesting for me is the longer that this game goes on, I mean, the scarier that Singed and Rise is going to get. And I'm wondering if Camille's actually going to be able to do that much because. Typically, when you talk about Camille, you talk about a champion's inability to fight her. Well, Singe doesn't really fight you. He just sort of runs from you. Oh! Oh, oh look at that! The flip into the oh, tower! Oh. There it is! Singe coming through with the big SK flip. Telecom are allowed to go this aggressive randomly because MVP has to respect Peanut. Yep, really does. And. Ed is going to learn some respect after this kill. Down he goes. Oh, no. Ooh, he's taking a lot of damage. That Kench is certainly unbenched in this game. Oh. And here comes Uni. <laughs> the double teleport. And Singe wants to have a word now with the Clockmaster. Going to go on to Maha. And now Ad is just taking so much damage. I feel like Wolf has to back off. Uni actually not able to get the kill there on Tamaha. But here comes Peanut. Look at how low everybody is on MVP. Oh, the flash. He's trying to pick up some more kills. Wants to go on to uh, Ian there. And down he goes. But Camille actually gets a double kill. Camille gets a double kill because they push on too much. Beyond was nowhere to be seen. want to solo his blue while Peanut takes away the blue buff away from Ian. Never mind, they have their sights set on Camille. Poor Camille, man. <laughs> In she comes, and she's met with a very angry cat. Gonna be flipped back. Looney taking a lot of damage, has to be careful. Yeah, they're just gonna have to back off here. They cannot secure the kill onto Ad. Also two levels. Yeah, it's really nice. He just walks around Ad. He's <laughs> never really fights him. Peanut. Aggroing the Rift Herald, but decides to come on in here, potentially to go for a gank. But here's Beyond. We're gonna have a bit of a 2v2 situation. You see Baker's coming in as well. Oh, and here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. Peanut gonna jump onto Ed. Look at that damage. Beyond trying to turn on to him, but he is gonna go down. And here comes Huni. He wants more blood. And Ed is not gonna be able to get away. Nice ward into the brush. And that is two more kills going over to SKT. Uh oh. Ad, did you go too far? Looks like Ian's looking to come in, but there is a ward. So Huni playing it very carefully, not going to overstep his bounds. And meanwhile, they finally decide to go for that Cloud Drake. Here's the big package being used by Ian. He tries to Valkyrie away. It's not enough. He gets bursted down. Huni told him that's not what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> He's enormous. They have to send Baker to deal with that because he has the ultimate. Here we go. We got the Baron started. And now is definitely the time for Peanut to pull out all the stops and go for the Miracle Smite. Can he get it? He's going to run in and... Oh, he actually oh, he gets, gets them! He gets them both somehow! And now Bang is getting ultimated here. So maybe they can turn. Here comes Baker, though, trying to come on in. And once he comes, it's going to be so much damage added to the fight. But look at the burst damage out of Ian. It's not going to be enough, though. And so many members of MVP super low. Peanut jumping out of that burst over and over and over again. And that is the turnaround they were looking for. A triple kill for Baker. Oh, man. Here we go. And he may have gone a little bit too far, but the turnaround, actually. But nope. Down he goes. And Huni is just invincible. He doesn't take any damage. And now he wants to come on in as well. And after getting that push, now you're going 4v5 against Baron Elder. He might be looking for a play. He's not using his on the hunt to cause MVP to group up. And look at Peanut, he's really just over there on the left side. Huni goes super deep. They're going to try to burst him down, but it's not enough. Peanut comes from the left side. Maha survives, though. Trying to get onto Ian in the back lane, and oh. Baker does do it. Huge amounts of burst damage coming out now. Bang in the back doing so, so much auto attack damage. That's going to be a double kill for Baker. And three members going down, four members, as Beyond has to just run away. I don't think he's going to be able to save this all by himself. No, I don't think that Beyond is going to be able to do that. Olaf goes down, and the Nexus turrets are falling down around him. 
And that's going to be it. Game number two, SK Telecom. Show us that Rengar beats Camille. Yep. There you go. So nicely done. Completely demolishing basically in every single game that they enter. This game.